in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our good night message on this Saturday, the 30th of September 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this gratitude message entitled, How Gratitude Can Help You Through Hard Times. We have come to the end of the month of September, and as we always do, we focus on gratitude, on how to be thankful in our lives. It is easy to feel gratitude when life is good, but when disaster strikes, gratitude is worth the effort. A decade's worth of research on gratitude has shown that when life is going well, gratitude allows us to celebrate and magnify the goodness. But what about when life goes badly? In the midst of all the troubles we are facing today, troubles in our finances, troubles in our relationships, troubles in our health, my response to all this is that not only will a grateful attitude help it is essential. In fact, it is precisely under crisis conditions when we have the most to gain by a grateful perspective on life. In the face of demoralization, gratitude has the power to energize. In the face of brokenness, gratitude has the power to heal. In the face of despair, gratitude has the power to bring hope. In other words, gratitude can help us cope with hard times. Look at what happened in the second book of Chronicles chapter 2. When Jehoshaphat and his people prayed, they praised God. They expressed their gratitude to their God. And those praises made them deal with their enemies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that gratitude will come easily or naturally in a crisis. It's easy to feel grateful for the good things. No one feels grateful that they have lost a job or a home or good health and has taken a devastating hit on their retirement portfolio. But it is vital to make a distinction between feeling grateful and being grateful. We don't have total control over our emotions. We cannot easily will ourselves to feel grateful, less depressed or happy. Feelings follow from the way we look at the world. Thoughts we have about the way things are, the way things should be, and the distance between these two points. But being grateful is a choice a prevailing attitude that endures and is relatively immune to the gains and losses that flow in and out of our lives. When disaster strikes, gratitude provides a perspective from which we can view life in its entirety and not be overwhelmed by temporary circumstances. Yes, this perspective is hard to achieve, but it is very important to undertake. 
trials and sufferings can actually refine and deepen gratefulness if we allow them to show us not to take things for granted. I don't know what you are going through. But remember this in Romans chapter 8 verse 28. All things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. And that will increase your ability to be grateful. Not to feel grateful, but to be grateful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father.